with Common Core, uh, the test scores are going to drop at the beginning. Um, we realized that our district implemented it full on, so our kids have some gaps from the earlier grades. Um, so that, as, as a result, we're seeing some of those drops in test scores. So as teachers, we have to be intentional and address those things that they didn't get from the earlier grades because Common Core builds. So if they really didn't have a great foundation with ratios and proportions, then in Algebra 2, when we get to some statistical analysis, when they need that ratio and proportions or even some things dealing with sequences and series and patterns, then those are things we have to bring back up in, in our PLC meeting and address in the classroom with our students. So we're fully aware that it's going to drop in the beginning, but as our kids um, go through and experience Common Core from elementary all the way up to high school, we should see those test scores start to increase. In order to articulate the score drop with the new standards, uh, that started at the district level and the state level. There was really this message that was created for people to understand that it's not really the lowering of a score that's taking place. It's the increasing of a higher rigor for the students to make, to make this gain. Uh, so we, we prepared not only the districts, but we prepared our staff, we prepared our parents around the fact that we're increasing this level of rigor to improve college and career readiness. It's no longer about uh, am I getting my diploma. The, the diploma is not the check mark. The check mark is am I statistically and accountability wise at the level where I'm college and career ready. If those are the goals that we are pushing all students toward and that the district is pushing leadership within the schools and the teachers to do and, what, and we also need to support from the parents to do that. So communication of that has been very intentional from the, from the get-go in the beginning. We, and it was very important because it's hard for a parent to hear that, oh, my student dropped a level from proficient to apprentice. I don't understand why. But once we were able to articulate the level and increase of the standards, they really appreciate that point of view and, and where it was coming from. I know that with the Common Core standards, the assessments may cause um, initially the test scores to go down for a district or for, for some students, but I think it's important to assess deficiencies early and catch them so you can address them rather than wait until your student um, is trying to compete in the job market or for competitive college or something like that. Um, education is too important for us to gloss over uh, problems so that we feel better about ourselves or our students. We have to address it head on. Mm -hmm.